Healthcare workers trek through the pine forests of Indian-administered Kashmir to reach the village of Daksum. The remote Himalayan region is home to the nomadic Bakadwal tribe in the summer. The cattle herders move in search of pastures for their sheep and goats in between the seasons. The nearest health care centre to Daksum is a three-hour trek. We came in April and will slowly go to a different area from here. We are a bit far, so no one could go to get the vaccine, and everyone was scared of it. But now the doctors had made us understand that the vaccine is necessary, so that's why we got it today. After months of vaccine shortages and uncertainty about supply, the Indian government has announced vaccines will be free for all adults from June 21st. Many people in Daksum are grateful to have these healthcare workers. We live very far away in the mountains. No one from the health department had come here until today. And luckily, I got vaccinated. Others need more convincing. Vaccine shortages aren't the only challenge facing the Indian government. Hesitancy, fueled by misinformation and mistrust, is common in rural and remote areas. People often are very reluctant about this vaccine. So our team and we are doing best to, to convince these people. So each day we go to these nomads which are residing here in the deep forests. We convince them and each day we almost uh, vaccinate 40 to 50 people. State governments have begun campaigns to convince people and are sending teens to villages. A devastating second wave of the coronavirus, which killed more than 180,000 people in April and May, has tapered off and cases have declined. But health experts say vaccination rates must increase significantly to protect people and that unless vaccine hesitancy is addressed, it will put India's fragile gains against COVID-19 at risk. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.